once you've set up a Drupal site, you have to add content. Now, this really involves three different personalities. One, as the site administrator, you're going to have um, set up the structure where information can be added. The second personality is the content editor. And that's a person that doesn't know any programming or anything, but they have a user ID password to get into the site, and they can add content. And the third personality will be the user, and that's the person that reads the content. So let's go into our new site, and you can see that we don't have any content yet. So we could add new content, or here we can add new content, but basically the content editor will come in and come into content, and they can add new content, and they can either add an article or a basic page. You might even set up your site to have a blog entry. So let's just look at an article. They'll put in a type, installing Drupal 7 in 5 minutes. And our tags might be Drupal 7 and installation. Save time. I have my body copy already copied out. I'll paste it in. And there's various settings we could set down here. But we're just going to save it. And now you can see if we go to our home page, you can see here's our information with our uh, read more. And if we click on the links, it'll take us right out to the complete page. Very similar to a blog entry. Well, this is pretty limiting, but it allows people to add content, and then this content can be used throughout the site. One of the powerful things about Drupal and most content management systems is their ability to make new content types. So remember, a node is any type of content, but you can make all different kinds of nodes. So I'm going to show you how to make a custom node. Now, the person that would be doing this would be the site administrator or the site programmer. And then the person that would use this content type or this form would be this, the content editor. So we're going to go into structure. And we want to make a new content type. Before we go into here, let's take a look and see what we want. So let's make a book review. And that book review is going to have a cover image, a title, author, and a summary. And we want to stack those all on, on the website together. So it'll look something like this. So we'll have a series of book, pictures of book covers and summaries about the book. So let's go in and build that content type. So we're going to, we're going to build a new content. We're going to add a new type. And we're going to call this book review. And for the description of recommended Drupal books. Our title field would be title. That's the name of the book. We're going to let people preview it if they want. And we'll save content and add fields. Now you can see we already have some fields in here. We're going to add a new one. Let's put our author in. It's going to be a text. And our body, we're going to edit that and call it summary. And the one field, we need a book cover. And this is going to be of type image. And we'll save. I'm going all with the defaults so we have them. So here's our fields. We can arrange these if we want to. So we can move the author up here. We can move our UL down. 
and we'll save those. All right, so that's creating our new content type. If we go into our content, we'll now and create new, we'll now see that we have an article, a basic page, and a book review. Well, our site administrator has been gracious and he made us a special content type so we can make book review nodes. So as the site editor, let's go in and, and create some books. So we're going to add content. I'm going to go to book review. And here is our page. So I have these pre-recorded. So let me go down here and get my first book it is Drupal 7. It's by David Mercer. And here's the summary. Again, we can set all of these settings. We'll take them as they are for now and save it. And you can see that it put it on our front page. Now we can turn that option off so it doesn't show up. You can also see it has comments. And I'm going to fast forward so you can see what this looks like without watching me copy and paste. Now I have all my content in. If I look at my home page where we have everything, you can see here's my three books. Oh, but I forgot my images. Darn. So we're going to go in and I can either do this as content editor. I can go in and edit the page. Or I can go in here to content and I can see all the things that I've added. So let's look at Drupal development tricks. Go in and edit this. And I see down here that here's for my book cover. So I'll choose my file. Upload. And I'm also going to go make sure my comments are closed. And I can see my, you can see where I've been updated these. So here's my Drupal 7. I'll go over, edit it. And if I look at any of these individual pages, you see the book covers in there and my comments are turned off. Now keep in mind the appearance of all of these will change based on my CSS and my theming. So we're not worried about appearance right now. Now, if I don't want these on the front page, I can go in and edit those. I can go down to my publishing options and don't promote it to the front page. And now I have it in a menu item, but not on my front page.